hey loves welcome back to my channel for those of you who don't know me my name is katya and for those of you who do welcome back i hope you're having an amazing week it's been a little while since i did a thrift flip sometimes i am more inspired by home decor or sometimes fashion spring is around the corner i've been drawn more to fashion accessories but i do love decorating my home and i do love diys when it comes to home so i'll keep doing that for sure but right now i'm just feeling a little bit more drawn to fashion that's what today's video is going to be all about i end up going to the thrift store not too long ago and i found a denim jacket what i loved about this denim jacket was that the length was a little bit more cropped so i immediately saw potential with it i have so many denim jackets but this one i wanted to make it a little bit more catified i had also bought a dress a few years ago at the thrift store and i never wore it there was something about the shoulders it didn't sit right so i never wore that dress but i always loved the pattern the colors the prints on the dress so i decided to incorporate it in this thrift flip so i end up using that dress i end up using another thrifted dress then i used some ribbon that i had lying around and voila I made myself a new denim jacket slash dress slash skirt, whatever you want to call it. I was thinking of doing several different ones for my Kuakaya store. Let me know if that's something that you would want me to put in the shop. If you guys are interested, write me a comment. I can definitely do one for you. Anyway, without further ado, we're going to jump right into the first thrift flip. Enjoy. <laughs> Moving on to my second thrift flip, I had this purse that I've had for a little while. I got it at the thrift store as well. And it was one of those purses that I felt I could only wear in the winter time. It wasn't an all season round kind of purse. So I decided to revamp it, make it a little bit more special and more unique and have fun and play around with it. So I ended up using some of the scrap fabric that I had from my dresses that I used in the previous thrift flip. And then I also had extra fabric that I had from Koakaya. And I decided to create a cute shopper's bag or even, I don't know, a beach bag. Something that I probably would wear it every day. It's definitely not 
not an everybody bag, but I'm sure that you can see the beauty in it and appreciate it nonetheless. For this thrift flip, I also end up using one of my bag straps. When this video is going to go live, it will be for sure up in the shop. I created these beautiful handbag straps. A bag strap is definitely something that is simple, but that can totally transform a bag. An old bag that you've had in your closet for a long time, you'd put on a strap like this and it totally transforms the look. I thought the design was beautiful and I added this detailing here. It kind of looks like this in the inside. If you guys are interested, I'll leave the link down below. So let's jump right into the whole second thrift flip. DIY. This is not a thrift flip, but I still thought I would add it in there. I created this necklace and I'm actually wearing it right now. I created this necklace wanting to put it up in the shop as well. It's something that I wanted to do for a very long time. I love any necklace with charm on it. And I said to myself, why don't I create my own? So that's exactly what I did. I did it in a black color and I also did it in a more neutral color. I ended up buying all of the different charms. So just a little heads up. You think that sometimes doing it yourself comes out a little cheaper, but it's actually the opposite. Yes, sometimes it can be a little cheaper, but sometimes I do feel that when you're buying all kinds of different pieces, it does tend to add up. And this necklace was definitely 
definitely one of those pieces. It did come out to a little bit more than I thought, but I am so happy of how it turned out. So if you have maybe random charms lying around or you can maybe get some at the thrift store, you can create this for a reasonable price. Uh, but if you're going to go out to Michael's or different art craft stores, beading stores, it can add up pretty quickly. But anyway, I wanted to incorporate it in this video. I think it's such a cute necklace. I think it's a necklace that you can layer up, wear alone. It does create a statement without it being too much. So that's what uh, the third DIY is going to be about. And so let's jump right into it. So that is it. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that my fashion followers enjoyed it. But for my home decor and my thrift followers, I try to do my best to incorporate all of them. I try to spread it all out and even it out for fashion, DIYs, home decor, and thrifting. I do my best. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know which piece is your favorite. And if you would like any of the pieces, they are available on Koakaya. I will leave the link down below. Thank you all so much for watching. I love you and I will see you in my next video. Mwah!